keep it real with y'all. The bathrooms. Child the bathrooms. Child the bathrooms. So it's your girl Taylor Dion back with another video. Today's video is going to be a freshman year recap. And as you can see, I went to the illustrious Fisk University. Um, of course, I had to rep my school. But yeah, so I go to the illustrious Fisk University. And yeah, let's jump right into the video. So first off, I want to say that my freshman year was absolutely fantastic. And if I had to, if I had the option to pick where I wanted to go to college again, and it was free, I'd pick, I'd pick Fisk again. Like me and my friends joke around and we say what other schools we would go to, but I love Fisk 110%. I'm not gonna lie. I love how small it is because, okay, it's a good thing and a bad thing. You know, everybody knows everybody is what I learned at my freshman year like at Fisk everybody knows everybody you're gonna know everybody's business they're gonna know yours like that's just how it is it's very family oriented though so like you need help go ask somebody and your problems to anything is gonna be solved need help braiding your hair need help doing um, a certain project dealing with a certain teacher or professor um you are a bio major and you don't know what classes you should take you trying to become a dentist and you want to know what classes you could take like you trying to go to this med school you trying to go to this law school you want to know what classes what's best for you ask students because they are going to get you the help that you need like that's my biggest lesson that i learned was these students my peers they're going to help me finding a church home they're gonna help me braiding my hair mm -hmm, mm -hmm, them all the way like this year i was when i say it was so family oriented Somebody will come like they had a fashion show. Taylor, you got some clothes I can wear. Taylor, you got some shoes I can wear. I'm gonna go to this party. Yeah, here, here, here. And you feel me? Oh, you wanna practice doing makeup on me? Here, bam, here's my face. Like, you wanna practice doing a certain style on me? Bam, here's my head. Like, we really feel me oriented. That's my main thing. Like, if anything, come to, if you were looking for a family, this got you. But besides that, um, the good and the bad is what I'm gonna talk about in this video. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. The bathrooms, child the bathrooms, child the bathrooms. The bathrooms were so nasty. Also, don't mind my bed, but the bathrooms were so gross. We had, when I tell y'all, females are disgusting and males. It don't matter where you go. This is, and this is what my mom has told me. This is what I've experienced from friends at other HBCUs, um, just being on HBCU Twitter. That's one thing like I've learned like at my HBCU, um, social media really keeps us connected in a way. Like I might never speak to you in person, but I probably know you through your social media. And I probably I might see you and talk about whatever you posted, you know, and that's how we bond and then boom, there's a great connection, there's a great friendship just off social media. I swear that's how it starts sometimes. Um, but anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, people in general, they dirty anyway. I don't know what I got off topic for, but the bathrooms, Lord have mercy, the bathrooms. These, um, yeah, any HBCU is going to have problems. That's what I've learned. And my HBCU, our problems were within our bathrooms, specifically Jubilee Hall, specifically that one, because that's where I stayed. Um, but there were bathroom problems at every building, I feel like, at every dorm residency. But ours was bad. We had cold water. No, we dealt with, this is all the things we dealt with within a span of like two weeks. Cold water. No water. Like, the water was turned off. Like, no toilet. Couldn't flush the toilet. Don't wash your hands. Don't take a shower. <laughs> like, the whole building. It was a mess. At first, it just started off at one floor, and then it was the whole building. Um, bathrooms flooding, water pressure is horrible. Only had maybe two two bath two showers at a time. Um, and when 
I say flooding, I mean the showers. So you had five minutes or your feet were covered in, you know, shower water. Um, water pressure, the showers, two working at a time, the showers, toilets were fine for the most part. Um, sinks would be stocked up um, with who knows what. We had someone throw up in a water fountain when the trash can was right across from it. We just had a lot of BS. Like, our bathrooms were the worst part. Like, I truly, I cried so many times about these bathrooms. It was actually ridiculous. Like, people would take showers and stuff in other residency, whether it was their boyfriend or their friend. Just, they, they going to New Live, they going to Crossway, they going to Shane, they going somewhere, but they're not going to jail. Like, it was a mess. And I will say, my freshman year, having a curfew, I hated that, but I'm not a freshman anymore, so... I don't really care, honestly. But I hated having a curfew because our curfew was weekdays, 12, weekends, 2 a.m. So on Friday and Saturday, it was 2 a.m. Sunday through Thursday, it was 12. Basically, if you had class the next day, 12. Y'all, if any, if anybody could technically have a class, you know what I mean? It was 12. Y'all know how horrible that is? You, you come in, you thinking you grown and you got curfew at 12. And, okay, my thing is, that's cool. But the curfew at 2 still sucks. It's the weekend and I still can't stay out. Ugh, what if I just want to chill? Not even just in another dorm. What they would do is, you just go through a different door. <laughs> like, just go through a different door. Just don't get, really, it's just a matter of not getting caught by your RAs. Because security will let you in that, in that door. Security gonna let you in and they not writing you up. So either stay out long enough to where you know your RAs have already gone to sleep, going back to their rooms, whatever, because they don't ever stay the whole shift. Or stay re what they told me, what the advice that I was given was either stay out once you miss curfew if you don't want to write up. That was it. Just stay out. I'm telling you either wait till the RAs go to sleep or use a different door. I'm not telling y'all which door. I'm not telling y'all none of that. Use a different door. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, um, that I didn't like that. I didn't like curfew. I didn't like the bathrooms. And it wasn't just the bathrooms that had problems. AC and heat wouldn't work sometimes either, but that's just cause, I mean, AC don't work in a lot of HBCUs actually, but ours worked. Mine <laughs> in my room worked. It just took seven consistent days of weather, stuff like that. Like it was weird, it was weird, but it was cool. Our stuff worked. Um, some rooms have mold in them. I didn't really have no bug issue. I know a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, talk about don't put your book bag on the floor um, because that's how, like, put it in a chair, da da da. Or you know, y'all got you're gonna have bugs, and no matter how clean you are. Me and my roommate really did not have bugs. Like I don't ever remember seeing any type of bug ever. Not crawling from a desk um not the floor and she cooked and but we cleaned like two three times a week we was always we was probably mopping that floor every day we would probably mop that floor every day and wipe down counters every other day if not we probably go two three days without wiping down the counters like we cleaned consistently all the time and it's not just me and it's not just her it was both of us like we would switch on and off and like as for the mopping we would just, sometimes both of us would mop in the same day because we didn't know. Like, I'd be like, mm, I feel like I want to mop. And she'd be like, mm, I feel like I want to mop. And that's how we got that much mopping and sweeping and cleaning all that. But yeah, it's really not a lot because the dorms are small. So it's not like you got a lot to clean, you know? It's just like cleaning your room every day, which I feel like I can't clean my room every day though. But I can clean my dorm every day, deep clean it, sprays, all that. But yeah, um... As for the classes, I learned that I truly need to just learn how to study. That's really it. I just need to learn how to study and then I'll be good. My GPA was not where I wanted it to be, but I realized I'm the reason it wasn't where I wanted it to be because I simply did not study and didn't apply myself. College is truly a matter of being like paying attention in class. If you pay attention in class, you're going to get the grades you want. That's really what it is. Because the classes that I didn't get my grades that I wanted were, like, that I didn't get A's. Let me just say that. If I didn't get an A in the class, I didn't pay attention in the class. Every class that I got an A in, I paid attention in. 
bio i didn't pay attention so i gotta be like i could have got an a all i had to do was pay attention b is for me going to class and going to sleep if i can get a b from going to class and going to sleep you see how you apply yourself and you get an a you said i mean and i'm not the brightest in the book i'm not the brightest person <laughs> so brightest of the bunch whatever so you see i mean just apply yourself and you're cool um i would say my other thing would be like me personally i wish i would have joined more orgs but i had a great time i wish i would have joined more orgs or gone out more to like parties and stuff i didn't go to parties i don't like parties though so then again but just experience a little more i wish i would have done but i experienced a lot um the people i would not trade them for the world i really feel like i met my sisters and my brothers at fisk like for real the four people that i'm thinking of really like five but the five people that i'm thinking of i love them with all of my heart and i see each and every one of them being at my wedding like for real like if y'all not at my wedding no heart plus ishabu we got some problems but anyway yeah um and there was no drama my freshman year i mean it was like a little bit like a drama but i wasn't really in it so i didn't really care like ah it was it wasn't even drama because there was never any like conflict it was more like secret animosity secret animosity talked it out back to animosity talked it out <laughs> everybody cool now like it was weird but that's cool also y'all 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 what i think that i love was greek like i loved greek life i loved it i just yeah i love greek life and the strolling and the you know sisterhood and brotherhood i loved all of that it was just so it was everything i thought it would be and more it was great i really met a lot of people but yeah my freshman year was honestly great what did i learned about myself i wouldn't say um my freshman year i learned to take care of me and put my needs first don't make anybody else happy i am living for me that is the biggest lesson that i learned freshman year was my mental if i keep looking over there sorry it's another mirror right there and the back of my head oh my god my voice um <clears throat> hello am i dying okay there we go i've never had to be on my chest like that like girl but anyway there's a mirror right there and i'm looking at the back of my head and how it looks a mess like my hair really looks a mess but i'll do it tomorrow i don't care no, I won't. I have to work at like 6, 7 in the morning. <laughs> no, I won't be doing it. I'll be looking like this at work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And well, anyway, back to the dang video. But I would say that like my biggest lesson for real is that I live for me. I need to, I, I do self-care days. I journal almost every day. I've gotten closer to God. I work out. Um, I've learned how to, I've gotten back to old hobbies. I now, I used to love painting and reading. I now paint and read all the time. Like people know me like, oh yeah, I'm listening to my booker. I'm finna go, y'all, I'm finna go paint. Y'all want to paint with me? I'm going to go chill and paint, sit on the yard and paint. Um, and that's what I do. I take care of myself. I, if it's, I like to keep calm and keep my peace. And that's one thing that I figured out is if I'm not at peace, then I get stressed easy. And when I get stressed, I get in a bad um, place with the life. Like I get depressed and it's just not good. You know, and who wants to be depressed? So I've learned, you know, my journaling. I've learned everything that needs to keep me happy with, for my self-care days. And I have them constantly. And another thing is like I've, what works for me, I like to, like if someone's having a problem that I've went through, I like to share what works for me. So that's another thing that I've really like went through is like trying to better myself in every aspect and like that's one thing people can merge for that for me is in every aspect of my life i have been trying to better myself if i realize oh i be taking my bad days out on other people then i i really try to catch myself and whether i and i evaluate the situation and i figure out if i need to just stay in my dorm and you know figure out my attitude for the day or if i need to figure out my if i if i can i'll figure out my attitude you know on the go like fix your attitude 
and I'll be positive and stuff like that. But that's not the time that I can be. So you feel me? Sometimes I just need to take the day and stay away from people so I don't take it out on them. You see what I mean? Like I really learned a lot about myself freshman year. So I feel like freshman year was a great year for me overall. And yeah, and I would I would a hundred and ten times say that I've I've experienced things in Nashville. And I, I will say this though. Freshman year, as far as like boys and like experience and all of that, I would say I had a pretty good freshman year with that um, area of my life too, only because I experienced a lot. I've learned my lesson with a lot. Um, like I've met some stereotypical frat boys and I've met some non-stereotypical frat boys. You feel me? Like I, I feel like I've learned my lesson. I have. I personally believe that you should not settle down freshman year, especially freshman year. You should figure out what you want and learn and be single and all that, right? So I figured out, like I was, you know, chilling, whatever, met a couple guys, you know, obviously. I know what I want, what I want, don't want. And I feel like I've experienced a lot of different people. Like, <laughs> I don't even know how else to put that besides I've experienced a lot of different people I've experienced really cool i've experienced really lame i've experienced my type not my type i've experienced older versus same age different school same school um yeah rude nice everything learned a lesson <laughs> and all of those got caught up <laughs> hurt some feelings got some feeling got my feelings hurt like, I lived my, I'm, I'm cool. I don't care. Um, I care, but like, I keep saying I don't care. I care. I've learned my lesson. I'm past it. I've moved past it. I just learned a lot freshman year from everything. But I would pick, just know from this video, if y'all don't take nothing else, I would pick Fisk over and over and over and over again. Because I'm a Fisk guy. I'm a mighty, mighty Fisk guy till the day I die. Yeah. Period. Also, I started a podcast with some friends. Like, freshman year was great. I started taking YouTube seriously also, y'all. That's really when I started taking YouTube seriously. And that's my reason for why I started to take YouTube seriously. Was because someone gave me the motivation. Like, I do it for me. And then once I heard that, she was like, and I watched them. And I was like, you watched me, my, my video. I always say this shout out to Naboo shout out to Naboo Naboo if you're watching this shout out to you and because she's the one who really like made me like realize she okay Naboo was like yeah I watch your videos before I even advertised them I don't even know how she found out about them but she was like yeah I watch your videos and then Cam he's mother friend and he was like um what did he say he said bro you gotta start advertising like get your name out here like it's it's going to go away, the content will go, whatever, whatever, because I'd be too hard on myself. And then me, that's where I came in and I was like, y'all, I do this for me. Like, I'm hard on myself and I'd be deleting videos or I don't upload because I don't think nobody watching and I think they're bad, which is where them two came in, you know? Which is crazy because I don't even send my videos to my friends. I won't post them. I don't send my videos to my friends. I, just, I might send them to random people, but I just be posting, y'all. I just be secretly posting. <laughs> But yeah, um, that's pretty much my freshman year recap. Um, I'm trying to make sure I hit everything. I hit school. I hit boys. I hit friends. I hit drama. I hit fisk. I hit problems. Yeah. Also, one last tip. Freshman year, I, I do want to say I feel like I ventured out. To where I did everything you could possibly do. And I love that for me. Because I tried everything. I went on a girls trip with my friends for spring break. Like I got really close to these girls. Um, yeah. I feel like I really did everything under the sun. And I feel like that's what made my freshman year so great. Is because I did everything. Like... I went to every event I could possibly go to. I was tired. Um, I was a stressed college student. I was a broke college student. 
I, I lived my life. I was a lit college student. You feel me? And now I know going forward, I feel like I've done everything and I learned my lesson in a lot. And I learned myself and what I need to do and I'm still working on myself to all that. Um, I know what I need to do to go forward, to move forward, to be a better person and to get the goals that I want. Achieve the goals that I want to achieve and be the best me that I can be. So, yeah. But that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. That was my freshman year recap. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see any more videos on, you know, Fisk, just let me know. Um, like, what, what do y'all want to see? I, I have some, not Fisk, just college videos in general. You know, like, what do y'all want to see? I got a few ideas, you know. I got a few things up my sleeve and whatnot. But yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe and share with a friend and tell that friend to share with a friend help a broke young college student out because your girl is trying i'm really on my grind and yeah toodles oh child right a sec okay i'm um, not trying to see my bed it's a lot of stuff on it anyway y'all but i wanted to make sure i say this in this video every hbcu every school but every hbcu has its problems and whether that's bathrooms, whether that's the people being dirty, like not obviously drama that comes everywhere, but every HBCU has its problems and whatever and stuff like that. And it's like a rite of passage. Like you really have to, once you get through that first year, everything will become 10 times easier because you know what you're doing. You know how to, you know, deal with all the dirtiness when it comes to the bathrooms and the AC and the nasty food and you know, the stupid rules and stuff like that. But it's really like a rite of passage. Like, you got to get through it. You got to make it. You're going to do it type. That's really how we all look at it. And, yeah.